New York's first crack pipe vending machine is working like a charm, saving lives, because that's what harm reduction is all about. Whether you like it or not, people are going to do drugs. Since the first caveman lit the first torch to the first bowl of bushweed, people love getting high. The war on drugs has done nothing to stop that. And whether you like it or not, these harm reduction policies, including crack pipe vending machines, work. Well, that is if your goal is to save lives. If your goal is to punish people, I can understand why you want to continue with a disastrous war on drugs. Some people get high from punishing people for getting high. That's their drug of choice. Recently, there were rumors that the Biden administration would be giving out free crack pipes. And of course, the jokes wrote themselves. And amidst all the criticism and the jokes, Biden walked back any plans for any harm reduction policies whatsoever, which is unfortunate. But I just think he figured Hunter would steal the whole supply. See, the jokes write themselves. Speaking of jokes. I want to talk about this decision right here by New York Magazine. I can only imagine the editor panicking, right, about offending someone, right? What kind of image should I use here? If I put a black guy, people will call us racist. If I put a white guy, all the racists will complain. What do I do? Let's put this highlighter, yellow, amorphous, gender neutral, race neutral, person shaped blob there. That'll do it. Racism makes us do some stupid shit. <laughs> 